Hey YouTube, this is Sean. I'm going to show you a new song today. This one's called Paris. So for this tune, you need the chords E minor, G, D, A, and our one bar chord, B minor. All of these will be up there during the video if you need to see how to make these up close. As always, I'm doing that at the end where I'll zoom in and show you how to make each one of these chords where all my fingers are going in case you're missing one or two or all of them. Anyways, so here's how the song goes. We're going to play the chorus at the very beginning of the song as an instrumental. And that's going to go like this. E minor for one measure, G for one measure, D for one measure, and A for one measure. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to play that again, so a total of two times. is just piano, second time the synths come in, so kind of match those moods, I guess, with how you're strumming that. We'll cover the strumming at the end as well, at before the, uh, the chords, but the strum pattern should be over there already, so you can check it out during the video. Okay, so that was the chorus chord progression, E minor, G, D, A. Remember that, mute it for later. On to the first verse. The verse goes like this. E minor, G, B minor, A. So we're just switching the B minor for our D. So for the first verse, you're going to play that chord progression, E minor, G, B minor, A, twice. And then after that, there's a very small two-measure uh, pre-chorus, which is just E minor, D, and A. So the E minor and the D are in the first measure, two beats each, one, two, three, four, and the A is a whole measure long, so you hold that for four beats. That two measure group is our little pre-chorus that's going to happen in between the first verse and the first chorus. Okay, so now we're on to the first chorus, the first real chorus. I mean, we played that chord progression earlier, but we're going to play it now as the real thing, as the chorus. So for this time, we're going to play it two times through. E minor, G. Verse 2. Verse 2 this time is going to be four times through our chord progression. E minor, G, B minor, A. Verse 2 is longer than verse 1. That's kind of uncommon, but it's not something you can't do. So After the second verse, we're not going to do our pre-chorus. We're going to go straight into the second chorus, and the second chorus is going to be our chorus chord progression again, E minor, G, D, A, except we're going to play it five times this time. Really long second chorus. I almost want to say the bridge is in there somewhere too, but it is just the chorus chord progression, so I wouldn't worry about what to call it, just say it's a really long chorus. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to the 
three chorus after that. So there's nothing really new happening after the second chorus, the really long one. We just played uh, the chord progression five times through. Now we're going to play that pre chorus that we heard earlier of E minor D A, E minor D of course being in the first measure, A being in the second measure. We're going to play that and then we're going to play the chorus again four more times. chorus chord progression four more times. I don't mean four choruses. I think it's just two choruses. <coughs> so, that's how this song goes. Let me cover the strumming really quick. Here's the pattern that I was using during the video. It goes like this. That's going to be one and two and three and four and five. So all eighth notes until the very end, and we do a quick sixteenth note. One, one and two and three and four and five. Like that. Give that one sixteenth note at the very end, the uh of beat four. A little swing, meaning I push it a little bit further ahead than it would be if it wasn't. So, give that a shot. That's how to strum this one. Accent the downbeats. One and two and three and four and uh, to get the sound that I'm doing. If you have any other questions on the strums, let me know and I'll get back to you. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in and show you how to make all these chords. E minor is like this, second and third fingers on the second fret of the A and D strings, strum all six strings. G is like this, first finger on the second fret of the A string, second finger on the third fret of the low E string, third and fourth fingers on the third fret of the B and high E strings, strum all six strings. You make D, first finger on the second fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the high E string, third finger on the third fret of the B string. Just strum the A through high E strings this time. That's D, A, it's like this. First finger on the second fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the D string, third finger on the second fret of the B string. Strum the A through high E strings, and that's an A, and then B minor, our bar chord. Take your first finger, bar the second fret from the A through high E strings, take your third and fourth fingers, place it on fret 4 of the D and G strings, take your second finger, put it on fret 3 of the B string, strum the A through high E strings, sounds like that, and that's a B minor. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on this tune, Paris. If you got any questions, just let me know. If you got any suggestions, send them my way. Please subscribe. You'll get lots of new lessons in your inbox every day. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.